crack beer nerds, welcome to another episode of Out Here Having a Pint. Today, we're at Brew Dog Doghouse, the hotel. Oh yeah, it's been a while that we've had our YouTube channel. We've always talked about Brew Dog, but we've never really had good footage of Brew Dog. And the reason why is because we wanted to wait until this weekend, the weekend where we're going to Scotland. Oh yeah, we're gonna go to Scotland where the original brew dog is, the headquarters. We're gonna go running around visiting different uh, brew dog tap rooms. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna be drinking beers, 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 drinking beers, drinking beers. Ready, Kelsey? You ready for our adventure? I'm ready. Let's go to the airport. All right, here we go. Hey, Cracker Nerds, we're out here at the uh, Get Ready to Board to go where? Doug, where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, Scotland. Oh, we're getting ready to go to Scotland. Kelsey, getting ready to go to Scotland. Uh, we're greeting the uh, UK folks coming to the States. Guy back here at the backpipes. He's doing it up, for sure. in America in Brewdog Airlines and then my good friend Pup Dog and his wife Kelsey are about to head on the airlines from USA to Scotland. I'm not going to be on that flight but have an awesome time in Scotland. Enjoy the beer and I will see you soon. Over and you. out. Hey, we arrived actually yesterday. Yesterday we was in Edinburgh. Today we're in Aberdeen. I didn't film anything yesterday because I was running around drinking some brew dog brews. But anyway, Kelsey, come on out of here and talk about this soft drink, this Scot Scotland soft drink that you wanted to try. It's this? Iron brew. Iron brew, all right, Kelsey, sit down. We're gonna try this. We're, we're gonna try this thing. What, I mean, what is this? What am I trying? What this is just a super sugary soda mm -hmm. um, brewed in Scotland to a secret recipe since 1901. Um, okay. Apparently here in Scotland, it is uh, one of their natural hangover cures. So they drink this in the mornings after they've been drinking all night, I suppose. All it's right. just I don't know. So while we drinking it, water. while we drinking it now, we're not hang we're not hungover now. I need to like test it out. Oh, okay. I try all right, it. we're we're gonna try that again. All right, you ready? Yeah, I guess I'm ready. Yep, sounds like soft drink. Now, what flavor is it? <laughs> There's not a flavor. There's not a flavor. It, it better be orange. It has an orange can. It should have an orange flavor. All right. Let's already right, taste it. Original and best. Original and best. Okay. And he says it helps cure hangover. Did I hear that correctly? Yeah. Okay. That that sounds. You sound convincing. I don't know if I should take. Okay. Let me do it. Let me, I got to do it now. Well, I've had beer and water for the last two days, so okay. that's a different kind of drink. All right. Let me see here. Let me see this. And everybody drinks this, huh, in Scotland? You guys, you all drink this? It has a secret recipe, like Kentucky Fried Chicken. So, um, it's kind of like Big Red back in, in the Midwest, but you could tell that just has so much sugar in it. I just can't even. It's kind of like a cream. It's like a cream soda. I think my tooth just fell out. It's just a cream. It's a cream soda. It is sweet. It tastes like candy, but it's like a cream soda. Yeah, a little bit orange flavor I suppose. Nope. It is definitely a cream soda. It's good. I like it. Um, right, so I got diabetes but I like it. So in the morning I guess when we're hung over and need something to help us out we can get a couple cans of these knock them down go back for day three. Okay. All right, enough talking. We need to, man time is ticking. We need to go find some brew dog, uh, brew dog bars. How many are how many Brewdog bars are in Aberdeen? Uh, three. Three. Let's go find them. We have to walk. We have to walk. We have to. I don't no think there's Uber. No Uber in Aberdeen. Is there a lift? I have lift. No lift in Aberdeen. Mm. Hitchhike? Can we hitchhike? If they don't run over us first. <laughs> It is 
the pill ale and it is super tasty. I'm getting a lot of chocolate out of it. But there's some other flavors there. It's got that minty flavor, chocolatey flavor. It's, it's really good, it's sweet though. So if you don't like sweet beers, stay away from this. If you do like sweet beers, this one to get over here in the mall too. It's very strange. Uh, the Brew Dog in the Union Square Mall. I think it's pretty badass. This is Chip Hazard. It's a mint chocolate um, pale ale, I believe. It's amazing. I usually don't get into like pale ales that have that chocolate flavor to it, but this is really good. If you ever get a chance to go to Columbus, Ohio, Wolf Bridge, Clear Sky Daybreak is similar to this. I love it. Dip Pony Club, an exclusive UK beer. You can't get it in the US anymore since we buried it out back behind our brewery. But nice, easy drinking pale ale. Uh, yeah, just a great beer. Easy drinking, low percentage on the alcohol, so you can have more of them than you would normal beers. Cheers. And the Haggis Bonbons. First time having Haggis here in Scotland. Hopefully it's good. I got a lager. Look at that. Beautiful. Go ahead, y'all. Really good. So if you're in Scotland, you gotta try this place out. This place got some good beers, some good food, and let's go to the flagship next. it correctly a Glen Goyne 12 year single malt a little peaty but nice smooth uh, finish get that hops taste out of my mouth so I can get back to tying it on okay. what you got this is a lovely Rodenbach 2015 really really nice you know, smooth sweet bitter a bit of balsamic the classic Belgian style cheers what about you my man I got a Monte Crisco from Havana and a Dalmore 12 year We just got done at the, um, what was it called, Kelsey? The cigar bar? Cask. Cask. Cigar, oh, yeah. alcohols. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, so cask was. Uh, yeah, scotch and coffee. Scotch coffee. It had very good. C-A-S-C. It had very good beers there, which is great. Now, where, where are we going now? <laughs>
Tiny Rebel. Uh, what is that? CLWB Tropicana. It is a 5.5 alcohol by volume IPA. So this smells terrific. It's hazy. Look at that color. Awesome. Let me let's taste this. Is that pineapple I taste? Man, that is awesome. <laughs> hey, that is really good. Uh, good fruit, pineapple, citrusy taste. I would definitely have a pint of this. Kelsey, now you need to try it. Ooh, this is a good beer. Would you have a pint? Absolutely. Ooh. I would have a pint.